Welcome back to the show. Well, Kentucky Health is work. Kentucky One Health is working to educate the community on diabetes and the risk for developing the disease. Yes, they're putting on an expo this weekend where they'll be demonstrating diabetes-friendly recipes that are not only good for you but taste really good as well. Amanda Goldman and Chef Stephen Vaughn are here with us today to show us some of those recipes. Hi guys, thanks Hi. for being here. Thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. This looks good. Mm -hmm. We're huge shrimp fans. Like love anything with seafood. So what we see here looks good to us. Thank you. What we have here is the St. Joseph Garden shrimp shrimp salad. Uh -huh. We have it uh, accented with asparagus, cherry tomatoes. We sauteed the shrimp lightly in paprika and mm -hmm. onions and et cetera, et cetera. I, I would imagine the, 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 the thing that you're trying to convey as people t is you don't have to sacrifice taste exactly. and you can eat really healthy but really have a good meal. Right, mm -hmm. correct, correct. Yeah. So how did you kind of formulate this recipe? What made you choose to put kind of these flavors together and, and go with shrimp, maybe, mm -hmm. above other, you know? Well, I love seafood. I'm a seafood lover. Shrimp doesn't carry much of, um, I don't know the dietetic definition <laughs> of it, but yeah. it's a good protein, small yeah. protein source, especially with your fresh vegetables. And a good thing about this salad is very diverse. Mm -hmm. You can saute all your ingredients, or you can poach it, or you can keep it raw in nature. Mm -hmm. And I have a couple of different dis um, displays, deconstructed, and this is more traditional way right here. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And, you and can, it does, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. You can also substitute out chicken for it or right. put a steak on it instead if you don't like seafood as well. So okay. it's very versatile. It's a great presentation right there. It really is. How important is it to teach people who may already have diabetes different ways that they can, as Lee said, still eat really well, but eat kind of tailored to their limitations. It really is very important, and we teach a lot of that during our diabetes sessions with our patients. Um, we talk about different ways to prepare healthy foods because it's a lifestyle change, yeah. and they're going to have to learn how to do that for the rest of their life, or whether when they go out to restaurants as well, trying to choose what they're going to have mm -hmm. to, to eat for dinner or for lunch. And so we really want to let them know different ways to prepare foods healthily. Yeah, yeah. You guys have an expo coming up? Uh we do. We do. It's on Saturday, March 3rd. It's from 9 till noon, and it's at the St. Joseph Office Park, which is across the street from St. Joseph Ho Hospital. And uh, we're going to have different screenings there. So we'll have foot screenings, we'll have vision and hearing screenings, we'll have hemoglobin A1C uh, screenings. And we're also going to have our keynote speaker, who is uh, Derek Ramsey, secretary. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're very excited about him. And then also we're excited about our local celebrity chef is going to be joining us. And that's Chef Josh Smaus from Honeywood. Oh, yeah. Oh, so he's wow. going to come. Yeah, so we're excited to partner with him, and it's going to be a really great event. Yeah, And awesome. it's free. It is free. It's free. And it's important because statistically, Kentucky's not doing very well when it comes to the fight against diabetes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. There's about uh, 30 million people across the United States that have diabetes, and about 84 million have prediabetes. Mm. Yeah. About 9 out of 10 of those people do not even know that they have prediabetes. So, mm. and obviously, Kentucky, yes, we're not doing very well in that as, either. So, a long way to go, but we want to make sure that we educate people out there, mm -hmm. and um, hopefully they can come to our event and learn a lot. Yeah, and so you'll be demonstrating other recipes like this at the event. We will. We'll be demonstrating um, some vegetable recipes uh -huh. as well as some even some dessert recipes that might be really interesting for people to learn about. Ooh, and we'll have free good. samples. We're having prizes, so it's going to be a really fun event that people can take away a lot of. Um, a lot of giveaways and hopefully a lot of good information for them and for their family. And as far as prepping this, Chef, I mean, I know, listen, it, it, it's not as easy as going through a drive through window, <laughs> but once you do it a few times, you should be able to do it pretty easily, About 15 you? minutes top. There you go. We'll start to finish. Yeah, because if you go home and hungry, that's when, or I know in my experience, you know, you want to go to fast food, yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. You know it's not good for you, but you're tired. But this, yeah, if it only takes 15 minutes, it's worth it, and you know you're eating a healthy meal. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, good stuff. All right, to register for the third annual Diabetes and Nutrition Expo, visit KentuckyOneHealth.org slash Diabetes Expo. Thank you guys for coming Thank in. You. We appreciate it. Awesome. All right, stick with us. Pet of the Day is coming up next.